the next step, you know, we, we used to design things in order to be better understood by people because they were very complex. Then now we're designing things that, in a way, we are in this middle with them. We don't know who is the real user that we design for. And now, probably in the future, we also have to basically design from the point of view of the products because we need to understand how is this object going to, you know, learn, change, talk, grow. Uh, so I think it's, it's pretty much a very interesting point of shifting of point of view and perspective from us that, I mean, we're still in, in, I would say, command because we are the designers, we are the ones that are going to put them in the world. But, yeah. I think that's a really, really good point, and I think it's part of a, a evolution we're seeing in terms of um, the rela uh, these relationships between um, people and objects and also sort of people and networks generally where um, products are designed and interfaces are designed so that we see ourselves at the center of this interaction and the, all the complexity is sort of abstracted away from us. We just see the user facing part but that there's really so much happening in the background that's not for us. You know, it's in service of corporate goals or, um, you know, black markets or advertising or all sorts of other interests that aren't about the person at the center anymore.